Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I will try to explore some of the hot research topics in human computer interaction. Uh, I will try to cover a few of the areas, key areas where uh, it is one of the booming research uh, area, you know, where you can uh, actually put up your skills on and work in the future direction so this video can be very beneficial for those students uh, who are looking forward to research in HCI so without wasting much time let's get started so I'm not gonna make it very long it's just gonna be very short and tell you few of the very emerging areas in the in HCI so let's start with augmented reality okay before i start let me tell you a brief difference between um, augmented reality virtual reality and mixed reality these three are sometimes confusing for many students so let me just tell you a brief difference between them so basically augmented reality is something uh, in the real world you try to put something which is not real uh, maybe you can take an example of a Google Glass. So you you just wear the glass and you just walk through and it will show you around different uh, maybe direction or um, tell you different digits or tell you a price of a shirt if you just focus that glass on the on the on any shirt or any other thing. So basically it add up on something uh, electronic digit or anything else, maybe a figure on top of a real world physical thing in case of mixed reality is a bit different so uh, in mixed reality what happens is um, it actually produce something which is virtual into the real so the best example i can give you like a 3d printer so 3d printer where it involves a virtual thing to become a real 3d physical thing so that's something called mixed reality and virtual reality, as you all know, it's about the physical thing. It places you uh, geographically uh, into a different lo location. So that's all uh, which is based on uh, geographical locations. Um, these are the very, very emerging areas of research and the laws of work has been done and is, you know, is on the way of uh, great progress as well and um, because these are not a very very old technologies and these are really changing the lifestyle the life of the humans the way they interact with the environment for anything for information access for getting their normal things to be done um, you know in their normal lifestyle and on top of that and artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies are playing a big contribution to us to make it possible to make the user experience more enhanced as i said before it's all about user experience we need to focus on the technologies emerging technologies and when we say emerging that actually means they have a very huge potential of enhancing user experience which i have discussed in the last previous lectures so on, on considering all the things, uh, when we talk about uh, the applications of these um, technologies, it has a, a very much uh, to be done and um, uh, very much uh, can potentially improve a lot uh, human community interaction. So starting with augmented reality, it's, it's, it's really um, an emerging area. And if you look at the applications, uh, we've we got lots um, and lots needs to be done. And the research is moving a lot to make that possible, um, which might include in medical field, in uh, repair and maintenance, in designing and modeling, um, in, in any kind of you know, field where um, it can you know, it, it actually change the user interaction with the with the uh, system uh, so i give you an example like for example in retail right so where you can see like in today's physical retail environment where shoppers are using their smartphones more than ever to compare prices and look up additional information products they're browsing so like you know the world famous brand uh, harley davidson uh, which is one of the uh, great instance of uh, brand making and um, they have developed an AR, augmented reality app, 
which um, the shoppers are using in store and they are quite successful and where the user you know basically view a motorcycle that might interesting into buying in showroom um basically so and customize it using the app to see which colors and feature they might like so basically there is no need to have a physical thing where you can just put the things uh, in a virtual experience which gives a user more um, experience that is uh, more user centered and user friendly so so the laws of others are things that can you know totally change the way of interaction of um, users to the computers um similarly virtual reality a lot of things um that can be possibly done that to think of about any virtual thing that you can make it from virtual to physical and it's a great thing and uh, and i believe um, uh, is a very good area for research and because these are new and um, there's a lot more can be added so it's a good time for you guys if you guys are interested in in research um in that so I, I think anyone you ask or what i believe is research is something there's always something can be better there's nothing is best anything can be better but when we talk about research hot topics that's something which uh which is really ch life changing things like something which can bring up a dramatic change uh, to the human's life that's something we call a hot topic and uh, uh, another word we use it the things which has not been uh, researched before uh, and is something new and that comes in a hot topic as well so i believe uh, any supervisor you speak to any uh, researchers they would definitely advise you the emerging is argument reality uh, the virtual reality mixed reality these are very very emerging areas and um, there is a lot more things uh, that can be possibly done in the near future and apart from that voice driven interfacing uh, command based interfacing although a lot of things has already been done however there are loads of things that can be added there is always a semantic gap when we say a semantic gap that means the high level features of human understanding and the computer understanding that needs to be synced all the loads of uh, work has been done in the command based where for example you look for information access um, uh, seeking um, into google for example you type any keywords and you search and it gives the results which are based um, based on your uh, query and gives you a quite uh, relevant uh, suggestions and out um, you know the retrieval results however in case of voice uh, there is still a big semantic gap in terms in the way that voice is basically different people have their own accents different people have their own way of speaking so still there can be a lot of improvement that can make the system more interactive for all sort of people and uh, cover um, you know this area as a more user uh, interactive uh, similarly gesture based as well so we can you can think about something how we can include gestures in augmented reality how you can combine augmented reality and gesture interface in the way that you're using a gesture uh you're using sorry you're using an augmented reality glass and but at the same time you're using your gestures to control things so there could be loads of things that can be combined and added on in in these uh areas of research work so there there are still a lot more apart from these as well so if you guys are interested uh, you can just uh ping me anytime uh and if you guys have any questions please let me know and uh, i would um, end up now for for this video and uh hope you had uh, learned some of the hot areas in emerging areas and um in case of any confusion or any suggestion which you want um if you any of you want to pursue in their research career please uh, let me know i probably can help you with the uh, things which i encounter the challenges and how possibly you can uh, overcome by taking an early actions than uh, later so thank you very much guys thanks for your time and uh, see you next time thank you